Yeah, um, they've been wandering around looking for a place. These are not high impact, and I, I, I definitely think it costs a whole lot to build something, it costs a lot to take it down, but I'd rather see it blocked off and kept in case we do need it than for us to have to start reconstructing, especially if it has a low impact. Just hearing this is very enlightening to hear the um, DES and then uh, me and Mitch here um, on, on, I had just thought everything we did was so energy efficient it would be a lower impact and hopefully that will bear out. Okay. But toilets or, or just the little bit of use that we're talking, it's not like a nursing home or the jail or even this building. Okay. All right. Thank you. That is me and Aiden, A-I-P-O-N. Um, is there any uh, further input from the public? Okay. Seeing none, thank you very much for that. And uh, what I would like to uh, go on is that you have some handouts today, and I'd just like to go let you go through. I made your copy of just the county convention. There's a little bit in here in uh, the first and about trustees, about how our trusts are taken in RSA 2314 and 19. And then I went through and pulled out RSA 24, which is the county convention. Um, we also have a handout from uh, Commissioner, yeah, oh, excuse me, Representative from County. Oh, no, 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 I'm just listening. I oh, okay, all right. And I, we have a um, handout from uh, Commissioner Sorensen on some minutes. Uh, dated, it looks like, dated September 22nd of 2009. We have our expenditures and revenues. We also have uh, yearly statistics um, from the uh, Jason uh, Johnson from the um, Department of Corrections about what we were doing last year compared to what we're doing this year. We also have um, a letter from the sheriff to the commissioners regarding the purchasing of pens that were delivered um, and it is part of our drug demand reduction efforts and support of school safety and response plans at Kingswood, Kennett and many middle schools. There was no uh, appropriated funds dispersed and funding is through court order drug for forfeitures allotted to the sheriff. There is also a report here that he has spent money for um, advertising uh, for two full-time positions. I do know that the cost for the subcommittee chair is about $5,000 for that, um, that advertising, which seems to be a um, much larger amount than we're used to seeing, and perhaps the subcommittee can look at that. We also have the farming in your backyard There is um, that we got from Will. There will be a Carroll County Farm Day on July 30th, and um, the pigs are in. The pigs have not been bought with uh, county funds. They have been uh, donated, and I'm pleased to I think that if Will is here to say that the pigs are doing okay, you've had one pig night, and uh, you know, of the piglets. And Representative Babson, what is it? Is it a pig night, you call it? That's what you call it, I right? I call it a pig night, but it was the, the first educational uh, uh, seminar for people who wanted to, thought they might want to raise pigs and all. Yeah, so that they uh, seem too good, so that if anybody wants to go to the farm day, that would be a... A uh, good thing. So I just wanted to reiterate what we did have um, as handouts and information for us. And um, Representative Humberger. Uh, yes. Um, my, my question is with uh, the, uh, the statistics from the jail. Mm -hmm. uh, and I noticed that uh, the. Um, is Jason here? Jason. Jason? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, since last year, there were furlough days associated with the um, court system. And this year, there are not going to be any furlough days. Is this going to assist in reducing the jail population? It'll get them to their court, or get them through the court system quicker, so it has the ability to impact the pretrial um, portion of the count which is um, substantially higher, as you see in the, mm -hmm. in the report. Okay. So you would anticipate the pretrial side of inmates going down? It should, yes, ma'am. Yeah, go ahead. And 
what is the maximum capacity of the jail for men and women? Uh, we have a total of uh, 131 bed space. We have uh, nine of that. It's uh, 19 can be housed for the females. Um, then the rest are, are males, but then also I have to accommodate for uh, the holding areas. I don't technically have that as bed space. But out of that 131 beds, 19 can be deducted for uh, female inmates and the rest are males. Okay. Any further question on any of that? Just, yes, go ahead. And during the course of last year, how many times were you at capacity? Uh, we've, we haven't been to capacity since we've opened. Uh, in 2006 and 2007, we had, for a few months, we had an average daily population of uh, about 100 to 110. Uh, and then, and again, between 2006, 2007, we had an average daily population of between 80 and 90. If I can remember right, our, usually our population um, expands usually in the summertime, just yes. like everything else, so that we get more and more people as they come to visit and play in our town, in our county, we get more people that come into the jail. Okay. Yes, uh, Representative McCarthy and then Commissioner Simon. Yes, I, um, on the agenda, uh, the, the, the next item was the, the county convention RSAs, which you mentioned. And I have a, a question relative to the RSA. Um, the officers of the executive, well, first of all, 24-2, the officers of the executive committee, uh, it says at its first regular meeting or at any subsequent meeting when necessary, the county convention shall elect a chairperson, vice chairperson, clerk, and an executive committee. Number one, I don't remember ever electing an executive committee. Uh, the chairperson, uh, vice chairperson and clerk shall be members of the executive committee ex officio. The county convention may designate the executive committee to act as a subcommittee to consider the budget or other matters and make recommendations to the county convention. It goes on to say that the executive committee shall elect its own chairperson, <laughs> vice chairperson and clerk and the officers of the county convention may doesn't say shall be, may be officers of the executive committee. I don't remember doing any of that either. Um, and then if you go on through the RSAs, you will find uh, a dozen different places where the commissioners, etc., other people make reports to, not the convention, but the executive committee. And the executive committee is given specific powers in the RSAs to act, but now, I was told unofficially that because we are a small convention, delegation, that we are all members of the executive committee. That's true? Fine. I still think we should follow the law and elect an executive committee and officers of an executive committee. We have never, since I have been here, um, 17 years, uh, have we had an executive um, committee doing the work of what the RSAs say. I understand that um, every county um, runs itself differently. Um, if the committee feel, if the delegation feels we need another second layer of subcommittees and chairmen and chairman of the delegation and chair, vice chair and then of the executive committee, we can go and do that or all of us can be elected as part of the executive committee. I think that our um, our setup that we have of our subcommittees with the chairmen and people there um, fill the though it's not exactly the way that the the, part, the RSA say, but um, everybody nobody has ever asked that we have an executive committee um, before. And always it has been that there's there used to be. 11 and then 13 and now 14 of us and it seems like we have all been able to share we used to not ever have subcommittees either we never um, I don't know it's only probably been within the last five four or five years that we have had subcommittees because the delegation thought they wanted it so um, 
whatever the um, pleasure of the delegation, if you want to set up a different um, process, I, it doesn't bother me that we are not um, addressing the um, RSAs exactly because um, unless there is a groundswell that um, wants to take us to court because we don't have an executive committee, I don't think any one of us are going to do that, but that's just my feeling. Representative, Representative Babson and then McCarthy. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Madam Chairman, can't we solve this problem immediately by me making a motion that we can elect an executive committee made up of all the members of the delegation with the chairman and the vice chairman and the clerk being the uh, head of the executive committee? Yes, I believe we can do that. There's a motion by Representative Babson, second by Representative um, Narrow. And let me say that, that we have the executive committee made up of the subcommittees that are standing, along with the chair, vice chair, and clerk being the part of the executive committee. Is that what it is? Yes. Okay. And does anybody else want to add anything to that? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? No. With one no, with our Representative um, McCarthy voting no. Okay. So I think that um, we can, I don't want to have any more meetings than what we're having right now. And uh, so I think that, I think it works, Representative McCarthy. I, the reason I brought this up is because I think it's a cost saving matter. Rather than having all 14 members of the delegation coming down here for all of the things that are laid out in the RSAs to be done by an executive committee, you can have three or four members of the executive committee coming down and getting paid for their travel and everything else rather than all 14. So that's why I brought it up. If you want to spend the money, fine, do it. Okay, um, I do know that when um, I have um, seen and see how it works in either Merrimack and Rockingham and Hillsborough, which are much larger delegations than us, that they have a very small group of their delegation members go through the budget, they do all of this, they have interaction <coughs> with the commissioners, and then at the end of that time, prior to the time, they bring in the whole delegation and the whole delegation votes on it. Um, I know in Carroll County, I for one don't want three or four or five members of this delegation making the decisions that we all want to talk about. So um, I'm thinking if we had, what, 100 or 125 members, that would be it. So um, I think that, I think it works the way it's working. Representative Black. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I, just a couple of comments. Uh, first of all, I think the committees that we've established, the subcommittees dealing with various uh, areas of the budget have worked rather well. We have people who delve into those budgets and uh, look at those in depth. So I think that has worked. Also, if you look at the RSAs, I think uh, there is a, a very uh, a restrictive statement here. The county convention, all of us, may designate the executive committee to act as a subcommittee to consider the budget or other matters and make recommendations to the county convention. Anything the executive committee may do is always in the hands of the convention. So it isn't that the executive committees have some uh, rights without the limitations set by the, uh, the convention. That's the way I read that anyway. Yeah. So there is one thing, Representative McCarthy. That doesn't hold true throughout all of the RSAs. There are several places. What you said is exactly a fact. You, you read it right off the, the, the RSAs. But if you go in later on in the RSA, it'll say different things where the commissioners can do, if they have to get permission to do this, to do that, they get the permission from the executive committee, not the convention. So the executive committee has particular powers designated to it by the RSAs. Um, so it, what, what you said is true, but it doesn't hold true throughout the entire set of RSAs. There is also, if you want to look on page four of the handout that I gave you for the RSAs for the county, there is a section about Hillsborough County, okay, in RSA 2413C, it talks about Hillsborough. 
and I think Representative McCarthy, this is where the executive committee reports to the commissioners what, and this is for